Hello, this is Mr. Del Judas. Today I'm going to show you how to do the photo postcard. We're going to start by, number one, getting an image. We're going to open Safari, go to Google Images, and we're going to find a large file of the place you want to visit. In the top menu bar, I'm going to type Rome as an example. I'm going to search for images. Once this opens, you'll see I have lots of pictures here. Right. I don't want you to just click and drag one of these small thumbnails over because this is a low resolution picture. In order to get a high resolution picture, you want to actually click on the picture so it enlarges. If you would like an even larger picture, you could double click on the picture and it will open on the website. I'm going to take the picture that I find and drag it over to the desktop. Release the mouse. You notice that this is Coliseum Night is the name of this picture. So I'm going to close this out. I'm done with this. Step number three. Take your picture. Go to Finder Applications Photo Booth. Click the red button to take your photo. An right, easy way to get to Photo Booth is by clicking on this rocket, which is called the Launch Pad. I'm going to open up Photo Booth. It's important when you're opening Photo Booth not to sit so close that you're chopping off the top of the head. Otherwise, you're going to have a flat spot on your head in your picture. So make sure that your whole head is visible before you smile and take your picture. It's going to count down to three. Here we go. One, two, three. Once you have the picture you'd like, you're going to drag that thumbnail picture back to the desktop and release. All right, now let's close down Photo Booth. We're going to open up Adobe Photoshop Elements. That's this blue icon on the bottom of your dock. Once this is opened, in order to get my files, I'm going to start with the background picture, which was the Roman Coliseum at night. I'm going to go File, Open. From the desktop, I'm going to find Coliseum Night 2 and select Open. Right, here's my photo. Second photo I'm going to open is the photo of myself. I'm going to go to File, Open. This one is going to be called File Photo at 9315, Open. And look at this handsome gentleman. All right, so what you're going to do first, let's look back at the directions. All right, you may also reference your toolbar Once you're in Adobe Photoshop Elements, you're going to open both of your pictures. First step is to cut yourself out using the magnetic lasso tool, Select Yourself. You must end the lasso where you started. All right, so let's go back to our photo booth. Magic lasso tool. All right, the trick with the magic lasso tool is to go as close to the edge as you can without cutting any part of you off. If you do happen to make a mistake, the best thing you could do is to hit the delete button. Like, For example, if I did this, if I hit the delete button, it will move my lasso back to where my mouse is. So I'm clicking as I go because when you click, it actually locks that lasso in place. That makes it easier for you to select. Right, now I don't mind if you go over as long as you don't go under. Now the magic lasso needs to finish where I started here, so I'm going to come back. Once you click in the very same spot that you started, you'll notice you have marching ants. If you look, you see the ants look like they're marching around me. That is how I know my picture is selected. Now I'm going to go to my move tool. Remember you may, in, you may reference your toolbar if you need to and I'm going to click and hold my mouse in and I'm dragging this over to my other image. Now when you place the mouse over the other image you don't see the image until you let go or release the mouse. You release the mouse and you'll see that my picture is here. It's a little bit too large and I need to make it smaller. So I'm going to come up to the top arrow, the top little box square there, and I can resize my image. 
you want to make sure that your image is grounded and not floating up from, like in the middle of space. All right, so once you're grounded, it's going to be a little distorted until you check this green arrow to accept the current location. So I'm going to commit to that. The way Photoshop works, and I'm going to close this, this image out because I don't need this anymore. But the way Photoshop works is by layers. And you notice I have two layers right now. All right, layer one, which is the photo of myself, and the background layer, which is the Roman Colosseum. You could select what layer you see by, or not see by clicking these eyes. All right, if I click the eye on myself, notice I disappear. If I click the eye on the background, background disappears. Re-click layer one, here I am again. In order for me to clear this up and get the little bits that I missed during my magic lasso, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to hit the zoom tool. And I could either click with the plus here and zoom in, or I could zoom in manually using the slide. Right, so I'm going to click on my eraser. Eraser tool is also customizable. You notice down here I could adjust the size to make it a little smaller, maybe even a little smaller too. I could also change the shape of my eraser by using these. All right, I'm going to keep it where it is. Very carefully erase the parts that you missed with your magnetic lasso. Oops. If you make a mistake, again, undo button is on the bottom. Just click undo. Once you've erased what you need to erase, the other thing which I want you to do here is use the blur tool. And what the blur tool is going to do is if I'm blurring my edges, it's going to look like I'm fading into the background. So my picture does not look so fake. All right, so just once it's around the edge, and I'm going to turn my background back on. Here I am at the Roman Colosseum. When you're ready to print, I'd like you to save your image first, and then you're going to go to File, and you're going to Print. Because we want to do a postcard, I would like you to select and make sure that your size is 4x6. So you're going to use the color printer on US size paper, size 4x6. Um, I would like you to crop to fit. Crop to fit is just going to stretch your picture so it fits on that 4x6 um, canvas size. All right, we can center that and we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit print. I'm also going to hit print again. If Before I print this, um, I just wanted to point out, had I left that other image open, you would also see a second picture here. When you print in Photoshop, it will print every photo you have open at the current time. Because I only have one photo open, I only see one photo. All right, if you did have multiple photos open, what you would do is click on the one you would not like to print, and just remove it. All right. So for today we're just going to print the one picture to review color printer, US letter size, um, print size will be 4 by 6 and I will crop to fit. And I'm going to print. Again, following images will be re-rendered at 220 DPI. Continue. And one more time, print again. So please keep in mind, you will have your toolbars to reference, as well as your directions in front of you. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at ddeljudis at hamden.org.